We are the Found Hope Neighbourhood Plan Steering Group. And this is the Found Hope Neighbourhood Plan. The plan was written in regular consultation with the people of Found Hope over a period of two years. We held an exhibition in the Memorial Hall and asked residents what they thought about the plans for the future. We conducted a residence survey which again asked people what they thought. We also conducted a Found Hope business survey and yet again we asked people what they thought. Based on all the information we had gathered, the first draft plan was written and then another exhibition was held. In the light of that feedback, the plan was revised and approved by the Parish Council. It was then sent to a nationally approved examiner who thought that the plan was a well-considered, concise and fit-for-purpose document that effectively embraces the ethos of constructive conservation and is a very good example of community-led planning. The examiner suggested some changes to the wording and the Parish Council approved these. The plan isn't perfect. There are things we would like to have been different. But within the restraints, we think it's as good as we could get. It's now up to everybody to decide whether the Herefordshire Council use the Found Hope Neighbourhood Plan to decide upon planning applications. There's a referendum in the Memorial Hall on July the 7th and your vote counts. If the majority vote no, then everybody's views which led to the neighbourhood plan will be lost. Herefordshire Council will decide every planning application according to its own local plan. Fern will have no settlement boundary to define the limits to development. Fern Hope will have no direct control over planning. But if the majority vote yes, then all of the plan's policies will come into force. These were specifically designed to protect Found Hope's special character and the ONB and the conservation area, while still allowing for a level of sustainable development phased over the next 15 years. To ensure that development is compatible with and improves the look of the village. Provide homes for rent and shared ownership for people with local ties. Define a new settlement boundary, setting up the limits to development on the edge of the village protect five green spaces from development. Protect against further flooding. Make Common Hill an area of special character. Support local services, businesses, telecommunications and renewable energy. It's all up to you now to decide whether or not you want the plan to be adopted. But, but please vote! vote.